Hey everybody, welcome back, and tonight I'm doing my video on the Hobbit Illuminating Sting Sword. Okay, so this is a sword made by Noble Collection. Um, I didn't get it until much later. I think I got it around, um, maybe, I got it on eBay, and I got it around the time of the third movie. Um, so I, I couldn't actually buy it off Noble Collection anymore. Um, but I got it for like uh, about a hundred bucks. So I mean, it was uh, fairly affordable. Um, the first one I got was a little damaged, um, but uh, the seller uh, sent me a new one, which uh, I was really happy about. And uh, I'm really happy with the sword. Okay, so this is a full-size prop replica. Um, it's got a little bit of weight to the back end here. Uh, now, as far as the sword goes and how to get it to work and you know what comes with it and things like that, um, the back end here just un unscrew, kind of, well, un kind of twists, and then all you do is um, it does not come with batteries, but you you put in four AAA batteries, and once you put them in, you just put it back on again and lock it back. Sometimes it's uh, easy to get the sword to light up. Uh, sometimes it's not. Um, I've sometimes twisted and moved it around a bit, does nothing as you can see. Uh, and then sometimes uh, when you move it, it'll just activate, no problem. See, there you go, no problem. So it, it's pretty cool. It, it does make noises um, when you move it, you kind of swipe it around. Um, I don't know if you can hear it. It does have a, a cool stabbing motion. Uh, you can hear the sound of you know, going in and then coming back out uh, of an enemy. Uh, I'm going to turn it back off here. Uh, now what I like about this is it is a die cast um, handle uh, and it's got the raised leaf detail uh, which is really cool. I mean. You know, in some some uh, even some replicas out there, like United Cutlery, uh, you know, they paint this on, um, and I, I thought it was nice that they did the raised leaf detail um, even on this. Um, you know, this isn't a real sword, um, so but it was a nice feature. I, I do like that about it. Now, now this is the Hobbit replica. So uh, unlike in Lord of the Rings, and I did a, I did a prop replica review. Uh, by Noble Collection, uh, they have several, uh, but the Lord of the Rings one has, you know, some Elvis writing right here and right here. Um, this does not have it because the one from The Hobbit, uh, they didn't have the Elvis writing. So, okay, so this is the box that it comes in. Um, again, this is by Noble Collection. It tells you a little bit about the sword on the front, and it just reads The Hobbit, the uh, Sting, the Illuminating Sword of Bilbo Baggins. It has uh, these ties on the inside, and that's just what holds the sword down and in in the box. And if you flip it over, you know it's got a cool picture of Bilba Baggins and uh, Gollum, and then you have the sword in the middle there. It also has <clears throat> a little bit of instructions as far as batteries and a mode they call silent mode, so you don't have to hear all the swishing and you know sounds of the sword if you don't want to. Okay, so that is my Hobbit Illuminating Sword Replica review. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe for more. Uh, also, leave a comment. Let me hear what you think about the sword. Uh, this is an older piece, but um, still pretty cool, but I'd still love to hear from all of you what you think. Okay.